Hey everyone, it's Vincent from Upright Health. When I'm working with new clients, I often get asked things like, what muscle does that exercise work? Or how does that exercise work that muscle? Well, today I'm gonna to share with you one simple concept that you can apply to any exercise you encounter to figure out what muscle is or should be working. It doesn't matter if it's a bicep curl or a deadlift or the most complicated movement ever, you can use this simple concept to figure out what muscles should or should not be working in it. Very simply, it is about attachment points. Let's take a look at the hamstrings and how they work in the deadlift. The hamstrings, they attach down here and they attach up here. So when I'm standing upright like this, those two points, those two attachment points, they are closer together than when I am bent over like so. So, when I'm in this position, the hamstrings can contract in order to straighten out my hip. Right? Same with the glutes. The glutes attach up here and they attach down here. So when I'm standing, they are shorter. These two points are closer together. The glutes are shorter than when I am bent over like so. You see how those two points? They've come apart. So now my glutes can contract to get me to stand up again. So that's what happens when a muscle produces movement. Now a muscle can also resist movement. Let's go back to the deadlift. At the bottom of a deadlift, gravity is trying to round your spine over like this. So the muscles on the back of the spine, they must contract in order to not let that spinal rounding occur. But if they are the only ones contracting or they're contracting too hard, then your spine will overarch. So what that means is the muscles on the, on the front side of your spine, they must also contract enough to keep your spine in the shape that you want the entire time that you deadlift. So both sides of the spine, all sides of the spine, all the muscles there, they're working to resist movement in a deadlift. And that's how your abs and back work in the deadlift. And that is how you can figure out what muscles are working in any movement. Take a look at their attachment points and take a look at what joint movement is occurring or not occurring and you have your answer as to what muscle is responsible for that. All right, and that's the video, guys. Did it help open your eyes to anything? Is there still an exercise you're confused about? Let me know in the comments below. Click like, click subscribe, and check the description box below for more helpful links. And as always, remember that pain sucks, life shouldn't.